So I'm sorry that I missed my review of episode nine of Andor called Nobody's Listening. Um, I was sick. So yeah, sorry about that, but I'm going to make it up to you. We're going to do a review of episode nine and episode 10 of Andor this week. So let's just get into it. As always, this isn't going to be a play by play for each, you know, each scene in the episode. It's really just about the things that stick out to me for each episode. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, which if you haven't, turn this off now. Seriously, turn this off now. Go watch Andor. Seriously, get caught up. It is an amazing show. Um, but for the rest of us, let's talk about it. The really the biggest things that happened in episode nine were that uh, that Cyril is kind of stalking Deidre, which is, or Dedra. And they, they say it both ways, I think, in the show. Anyway, it's like, woo, what is this guy doing? I mean, this guy's got to be a part of, I guess, the the force going after Andor eventually, right? He's 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 going to be some somebody important, right? But him going after Deidre like that and her kind of like you need to step off. It's it's really it's creepy, but it's also like yeah, this is this is going to happen, I think, eventually. And it's it was just an interesting scene because it wasn't something that I had expected. Later on in the episode, Deidre goes to Phoenix, right? To question Bix. And the scene in which she is talking with Bix, and then there's the guy that's basically in charge of the torture, and him explaining what's going to happen is chilling. And you don't even hear, you know, they, they basically put on some, some, uh, some Bose headphones, or I don't know what, I don't know what they are. They, they put on headphones, and you can see her reactions to what's going on. We don't get to hear what, what's happening, but yeah. It's it's some horrifying stuff, which again, it it it's it's the thing that I've been saying before is that we've been kind of rooting for Deidre this whole time, um, because we we just see her as sort of the protagonist of that storyline, but now we see that no, she's she's definitely a bad person. So it's it's really really cool seeing all this play out back in the prison. Like I thought that episode nine was going to wrap things up for the prison. Like I thought that's when we were going to see the escape. No. No, that uh, that didn't happen in episode nine, um, but we get to see um, our our buddy Olaf unfortunately dies of a stroke, and uh, in the hubbub, the doctor basically tells Kino, played by Andy Serkis and Andor, that uh, that yeah, the Empire killed everyone on level two, and it's because a guy from uh, from level four was was released and then put right back into level two. And when people started to find out, they started to have some, some problems and they just fried the entire floor. That's insane. And it kind of, it, what's really interesting watching that is seeing Andy Serkis and his reactions to it because he's realizing that everything he's been working toward is a lie and that really there's only one way out, which ends up being the episode title of episode 10. Now, episode 10, One Way Out, starts off with Andor and Kino talking about this, and Kino is still trying to figure out what's going to happen, what what they're going to do, and how to deal with it, and he says, look, there's, there's, we've got to act now. There's, they know that they're outnumbered, and they know that, that they've got to get, they've got to get help, and they're on the verge of something bad happening from the empire's point of view. That's the way they're looking at this. And they said, we got to do this now, or we're not going to have a chance like this. And seeing Andy Serkis actually, you know, his character going through the, these, I guess, scenarios in his mind as he's trying to figure out what to do. And then finally speaking out to the rest of his floor, basically saying, look, we've been lied to. <laughs> There's We've only got one choice, and that is to to rise up tomorrow and get this done. And it was just, there's so much, there's, I can't tell you how, how much I'm feeling from this, right? And we don't really know any of these characters besides Andor. I mean, Andor, we've just, we don't really know that well either, but it's, you just get really invested in this story, and it's awesome. We dip into Mon Mothma, uh, meeting with Skuldun. This conversation is taking place, and in exchange for Skuldun handling the money, he wants to bring his son to Coruscant. 
to basically, I guess, court Mon Mothma's daughter, and she's not having it. There's a lot of there's there's definitely some sacrifice going on, and I and I think that this whole episode, the theme is sacrifice. Who is sacrificing what? And it's it's just it's 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 very very cool. Now we get to see the actual prison break, and again, I'm not going to go into all the details, but again, the it's Andy Circus, man. His his speech to the prison is awesome, and it just it seriously brought tears to my eyes, and it was like, wow, it's been a while since I felt this watching anything anything Star Wars. It's really really awesome to see this. I mean, Andy Circus, look. What what can I say? The guy's awesome, and uh, I really really loved how things played out. Uh, we didn't actually get to see Andy Circus's fate because apparently he can't swim. So there's some some things there, but but wow, just gripping. I mean, it was so and 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 this the getting that that feeling of the rising up, it does something to you, and it, it just it's it's really really good. Then we find out that uh, one of the ISB agents, Lonnie, is actually working with Luthen. And so they're having this conversation. And uh, if you saw this conversation, man, um, I was already happy with the episode, with the prison break. Okay? I was happy. But then they added this. And it is a scene that, I mean, let's, let's, let's call it what it is. I feel like it's Emmy bait. Like, like... Stellan Skarsgård might win an Emmy for this single scene. This performance is so good and it's so powerful that it's it's hard not to to go wow. This is this is great stuff. And I mean, I've seen a lot of people already saying that Andy Serkis and Stellan Skarsgård might win Emmys for their performances in these episodes. Amazing, amazing stuff. The line I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. Wow, it's so good. I mean, the way that the way that he plays it, it's it's amazing stuff, and it's it's compelling in a way that I never thought that Star Wars could be again. There's been a lot of people over the years that have talked about what they want out of Star Wars, and of course, the expanded universe. Some of the video games have given you some, I mean, some ultra violent type stuff, but that's not what I think Star Wars is all about. It, 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 just to me, it, it's never been about that. And it's never been, it, it's almost like they're trying to shoehorn things that they like from other franchises, from other stories into Star Wars. But that's not what Star Wars is about. And this, finally, for the longest time, I've been wanting to see what a an actual mature storyline in Star Wars could be. And we've, we're getting it. We're getting it here, and I couldn't be happier. So you tell me. What are you thinking about Andor? I mean, look, episodes 9 and 10 were amazing. Um, episode 9 was... It, it, it's... I think that's good storytelling when no real action scene happens, and yet you're still on the edge of your seat. The, the dialogue, the acting, the music, everything about this show is just top-notch. And then episode 10 gives you... gives you a release. <laughs> no pun intended. But wow, it's... It's such a good show, and uh, I, I want it to—I want it to be—I want it to be loved. I want it to be loved by everybody. So let me know down below what you're thinking about it. We'll talk about it. It's just good stuff. So thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.